JC, Phil, it was just a half day of testimony today, but very intense testimony, very emotional, very powerful testimony. For the first time, the prosecutors played audio synced up with video of the marathon bombing. What the hell was that? Oh my God. Something blew up. Something blew up. Oh my God. Something happened. Holy sh. Jurors cringed as they heard that horrifying audio capturing the crowd's reaction to the marathon bombing. Survivor Steve Wolfenden testified today that he and his then three year old son Leo were near the forum and heard the first blast. And then it registered that we needed to get out of there, he said. And we didn't get that opportunity because the bomb exploded. Steve lost a leg but was focused on his injured son Leo, seen here being carried by Boston police officer Thomas Barrett. Once Leo was rushed away, Steve Wolfenden was on the ground writhing in pain. Martin Richard was just a few feet away. I could see his face, Steve told the jury. I could see a boy who looked like he was fatally injured. His eyes were rolled in the back of his head. Martin's mother, Denise, was comforting him. Steve told jurors, I placed my hand on her back, and Denise turned to me for a moment and asked me if I was okay. And I said, yes, I'm fine. And that from a man who lost his leg, a man who was separated from his injured son. A very emotional day of testimony here today. The defense case begins here on Monday. Reporting live outside federal court in South Boston, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.